All right, so part two of the stuff I use all the time. Uh, a couple months ago, I think it was a couple months ago, maybe back in January, I did a video on some of my tools that I use. <clears throat> and so I picked three more things that I like, um, that I specifically do or have in the shop. Um, and this will probably, probably do um, two of these videos back to back, since I've got a couple other things that I want to talk about. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is gloves. Um, if you haven't noticed in my videos, I wear various types of gloves, or... You may have noticed that, I'm not really sure, now that my gloves are stuck together. So, um, these gloves are cobalt gloves. Um, I think they're $15 a pair at Lowe's. I've, I like these, I've gotten to the point where where I really like those gloves. Um, they'll last three or four months, uh, generally. I think, I, I think this pair was new in November. Um, and obviously being winter, it's a little um, little less wear and tear on them than in the summer. And what I do is I'll start off with a new pair, and it will do, uh, I'll say, non-dirty work. And then uh, slowly as they get older, I'll actually rotate two pair in. Uh, my, my cleaner of the two pair that I have right now is up at the house. Recently, I got a pair of these gloves, which um, these are Grease Monkey Honeycomb Grip. They're just latex-covered cloth gloves really like them. They're $3.99 a pair. They're obviously not very warm for the, the winter, um, but I really, really like them so far. Uh, I bought two pair because I think it was buy two for five or something like that. It was on sale, um, and I wanted to just try them out, mostly because these can get a little hot in the summer, uh, so I really like these so far, um, I, but you can tell, I mean, I've had these less than uh, two weeks or three weeks um, and I've worn them out in the shop maybe five or six times you can see they're already tearing and they already got a, a stretch mark in them and uh, I don't think this one has any problems with it yet but uh, anyway these are really nice I like them so far for four bucks a pair on normal price I really can't complain uh, then my other one are my nitrile gloves. Uh, anytime I'm using oil or something like that, I'll use my my, my nitrile gloves. Um, really like these right here. Uh, basically, I'll go whatever I think is good, best on Amazon. I don't, I mean, it takes me a year to go through a box of these, mostly because after I get done, I take them off and I hang them up to dry out. Um, like this pair right here, uh, probably been using for a week or so. Um, so, you know, I don't, uh, I don't use these, I, I reuse these, so I don't use one set every time I do something. Um, but these seem, the Glove Works HD, um, I was looking to see if it told us the thickness on here. It doesn't. But I think these were like 15 bucks, 17 bucks. Uh, they were a little bit better than, than the other uh, nitro gloves I had uh, I used to have some blue nitro gloves I don't even think I have that box anymore I had a couple left of those um, but really like these nitro gloves for doing uh, tasks you know oily related tasks things like that um, and the thing what's really important in my case is I use my hands at work uh, and I need to really protect my hands so um, it's one of those deals that I, I really try hard to protect my hands and keep them from getting too greasy and dirty, things like that, because I can't have really that at work. So, anyway, that's the gloves. Um, the three different types of gloves I, I wear um, that you'll see me wear. My three favorites. I used to wear, I used to buy Craftsman gloves like this when they were on sale for $9.99. And it just got to the point where um, these will actually wear out... Um, the tips of the fingers will wear out before the rest of the glove wears out or the Velcro will wear out like this right here. Um, the Craftsman got to the point where the, they would just come apart at the seams before um, anything else will wear out. So I quit buying the Craftsman stuff. Normally that's, I've had pretty good luck with it. So the second item I want to talk about is this right here. Um, so what is it you ask i was wandering through walmart one day and some of you the younger viewers of my channel will probably know what this is um the older viewers of my channel may not i thought it was pretty cool it is a speaker um i'm not going to play any music because i've played any music uh youtube will flag the video as limited advertisers probably or whatever crap that they're doing now um but that's a different video uh, anyway, this actually works really, really well. Um, basically, it's a surround sound speaker that connects via Bluetooth to your 
uh, phone or iPod or whatever you're using for music. Uh, works really well, has some good sound. Battery, la battery life out here in the cold is actually really, really good. Um, I mean, I, I can go a whole afternoon. And it's surround sound, so you can see the speaker down in there. I want to say it was 69 bucks, 70 bucks, something like that. Uh, this is kind of just a trial run. My wife and I are trialing it. Uh, really like it so far. We've had it about three months now. Um, and I, you may have seen it in some other videos just sitting over in the corner. Because generally I'll turn the music off uh, when I'm doing a video. But uh, for the most part, I, I have music on when I'm out here. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of cool. I would encourage there's a bunch of different brands out there. I'm sure you can go to Best Buy, Walmart. You can look at them on research them on Amazon. This was just one that kind of had the best sound in the store. It was kind of a spur-of-the-moment purchase. And so that's where we're at. So I really like it. Um, I would encourage you if you like to listen to music um, and you're old. And my problem was I used to have an old CD player, and it finally just kicked the bucket and uh, decided that I wasn't going to uh, go b spend, you know, 80 bucks on a halfway decent boom box from those of you that are old enough. Um, to uh, Instead, you can buy this, and it's a lot lighter and everything. So that's kind of that. Third thing I want to talk about, um, if you are doing any type of electrical work, and this is something you can, you can acquire over time. And so I just took a couple things out. I do a lot of electrical work either on tractors. Um, I do work around the house. Uh, recently we've been updating some light fixtures in the house. And so obviously none of this stuff would really be for light fixtures, but I, I basically have a whole area in the shop dedicated to electrical work. Um, a couple of things I have, obviously I actually buy rolls of wire, um, it's gotten to the point where I'll just buy rolls of wire for electrical stuff. Most of this wire that I have right here is was, was pre-cut from the um, linear actuator kit for the 4066. Um, also something I really like, you can get this on Amazon, you can just buy basically big two or big kits of heat shrink. Um, heat shrink is amazing stuff in terms of electrical work. It really helps seal those connections and make them weatherproof. Uh, I want to say like this package right here, you can tell we, which one we used for the 4066. Um, this package right here was like 12 bucks with Amazon Prime shipping. So uh, kind of exciting. You can also, I mean, you can get weather or you can get heat shrink anywhere else, you know, any part store, things like that. Um, this just comes in pre-cut uh, length. So kind of like it. Um, and also, uh, this is one thing that I've found, I like both of these. So this is a wire stripper. Um, I put off buying one of these for years, and last year I had to do some work on the sprinkler system that we have, and um, the work on the sprinkler system was down in the dirt and everything, and I didn't, really wasn't a good way to get to it to... to to, to uh, strip the wires and everything. So I bought this kind of on a whim. I think it was like 30 bucks. Um, really, really like it. I put it off for years. Most of the time I did everything with this. Um, little crimpers and everything. Still really like the crimpers. Uh, this was, um, I've got several of these. I really like this Klein. Um, Klein tools are really, really, I like Klein tools. I'll put it that way. Make sure when you're doing electrical work that um, you know you buy good quality tools because the, the cheaper they are, the the more of a pain the job is. Um, you know, at the same time, you have to balance you know number of uses, things like that. Um, I tend to uh, buy buy things that are a little bit nicer because I know at some point in the future I will probably use them again, uh, even if I only use them four or five times. Uh, it's really nice to kind of have things that that work for the most part. Um, <clears throat> Secondly, the second part of electrical stuff is, um, so you can tell that I, I'm using tackle containers here, because tackle containers, um, and I'm in the process of actually reorganizing all of my fittings and every, or all of my electrical connectors and everything. Um, so I just use these tackle boxes, because you can pick these up at Walmart. I think that one right there I got back in the early 2000s, um, Bass Pro Shop, a worldwide sports, sportsman there. Um, got that at Bass Pro Shop. I think I, I got had a gift card or something. It was on sale. I uh, bought five or six of them. I still use, I think I've only broken one in the, you know, 15, 20 years that I've had them. Um, but uh, anyway, closer to 15, I guess. 
Um, and then I just bought some of these, some more of these at Walmart. Um, I think they're like five bucks, six bucks, something like that. But they do a really nice job in being able to sort all your fittings. Um, you know, particularly if you're out in the yard or something like that, you've got to reduce some tractor electrical work or something like that. Um, there's nothing worse. I mean, we live approximately 20 miles from, you know, the closest hardware store, stuff like that. So, you know, we try to, I try to have some stuff on hand. Um, to uh, fix things so but those are my three for this video my gloves my my new fancy bluetooth speaker and then uh, all of my electrical tools so um the next video i'll show you a couple more th more things that i really enjoy having on the